For most people, the choice of wedding dresses for the bride and suits for the groom in a shop like this would be more than enough. Just look at the variety of styles and even colours. But for one couple from Marple, they decided not to go for the traditional look, but instead went for something completely different. I've always loved period drama, absolutely adored it. Whenever there's anything on the television, want to watch it. And I thought with Lime Park on the doorstep, it was just a great idea to go down the Pride and Prejudice Road. So for Denise and Stuart, it was period costumes for the big day, turning Pride and Prejudice into, well, Bride and Wedded Bliss. For both of them, it was their second marriage. The two met through a shared hobby of amateur dramatics. Taking their inspiration from the characters Elizabeth Bennet and Mr Darcy, they managed to get hold of the original costumes that were used in the BBC adaptation of Jane Austen's famous novel. In fact, the outfits worked out around £100 each, and that included the hat, the gloves, the boots, the shoes were exquisite with pearls all over them, weren't they? I was impressed by the company because they threw in all the little extras as well once we'd tried the costumes and decided on like the major items that... He trousers, the boots. Stuart confirmed that he didn't fancy replaying the scene made famous by Colin Firth when Mr Darcy jumps into a lake. To be fair to him, the wedding was in Disley at the end of December. And if you thought dressing as Elizabeth Bennet and Mr Darcy was a bit off the wall, wait till you hear what the other option was. First choice idea was uh, Beatrix Potter theme. So, <laughs> Jemima Puddle Duck, Jeremy Fisher. And all the, everybody that came to the wedding were going to be Peter Rabbit. So, you know, <laughs> I had to put my foot down and draw a line somewhere, and, and that was it. So, um, Pride and Prejudice theme seemed like a, go a safe option in comparison. Probably a wise decision. Ben Bland, Channel N News.